Hello friends, in today's session we will learn how we can connect the ESP8266 chip with Arduino model. So with this video you will able to connect your mobile hotspot with Arduino so that whatever the mobile internet facility it is easily available with the Arduino. Actually many students facing the issue to connect the ESP8266 chip with, the, uh, with their mobile hotspot. So in this video we will try to solve this issue and we will also see the hardware connection of this ESP8266 chip with Arduino. Also we will see the programming part so that you can easily change the baud rate of ESP8266 chip also. So uh, I request you please watch this complete video so that you will easily connect the ESP8266 chip with your mobile hotspot. So first part we will see how to connect the ESP8266 chip with the Arduino model. So you can see on the screen the ESP8266 chip having the 8 pin. So you can see this is the 8 pin. You have to hold this ESP8266 chip like this one with the Arduino. So place this Arduino like this and ESP8266 is like this. So this antenna should be at this side only. So uh, with this the first and the third pin of ESP8266 chip should be shorted. So you can see these two pin are shorted. Then this pin is connected to the Arduino 3.3 voltage. So you can see Arduino 3.3 voltage mentioned in your Arduino board also. So connect, short this to first, first and third pin and then connect the common pin with the Arduino 3.3. Now the next part is this pin. So this pin is nothing but the ESP8266 chip TX pin. So this TX pin of ESP8266 chip that is the blue line you can see it should be connected to two number pin. Uh, you neglect this uh, green part of this uh, uh, circuit diagram it is not required so only focus on the blue and the yellow part so blue line uh, that is the fourth pin of esp8266 chip that is the tx pin of esp8266 chip should be connected to rx pin of arduino so rx pin we have considered as a two number now the next part is this one so this one chip of ESP8266 chip should be connected to the ground pin of Arduino. So there will be the ground. You also find the ground mention on the Arduino chip. After that, the last pin of ESP8266 chip should be connected to the uh, should be connected to TX part of Arduino. So this is the TX pin. Uh, so, sorry, this is the RX pin of ESP8266 chip, and that should be connected to the TX part. So with this, you can. So after follow this circuit diagram, you can connect this ESP8266 chip like I have connected like this one with the Arduino. So I have followed the same connection. You can see this is my ESP8266 chip and I have followed the same connection. So you should follow the same connection, make this connection and uh, after that your hardware connection will be perfectly alright. And now we will see the program part. I request you please subscribe my channel. Currently you can see I have uploaded more video on the many video on Raspberry Pi, Arduino, then Python program, then some uh, webinar so that uh, it can grow your career. So if you want to learn something from me, it is free and you have to just click on this subscribe button and all the video, it is it is very unique and you will learn definitely many things from me. I upload a mostly video on Raspberry Pi, mostly video on IoT, then Arduino. There are different types of project I have explained and each project having the programming part. So please subscribe my channel, please support me and please enhance your knowledge by watching my video. So before start the program explanation and to download the program into the Arduino first you need the Arduino software. So if you don't have the Arduino software and you don't know how to install the Arduino software in your laptop just watch my this video protest simulation of accident and alcohol detection video. So in that video I have explained already how to install the Arduino software in laptop. Okay once you install the Arduino software you have to download this three file from my Google Drive link. So, so you have to download this one change baud rate and the connect with Wi-Fi that is two file which I have given in the Google Drive you have to download this file from my Google Drive link so uh, try to open first file connect with the Wi-Fi so double click on this file okay once the file is open uh, now we will see the importance of each and every line from this file now first we will understand what is uh, what is the uh, importance of this file so connect with Wi-Fi it is a file which is used to connect your hotspot uh, whatever your uh, internet hotspot or your mobile hotspot that should be connected by using this code uh, so once you download this code into your uh, arduino then and once you follow the hardware connection also then your esp8266 chip get easily connected with your hotspot so that is the importance of this file 
so we will try to understand the importance of each and every line from this file so first line is hash include software serial dot h so whenever we require the uh, external serial pin instead of arduino you can see so arduino having the two serial pin 0 and 1 so this is the inbuilt serial pin of arduino and if you want to use the another pin that is uh, instead of 0 and 1 if i want to use the another pin as a serial communication serial communication then i should use this software serial dot h file so in this case we have connected our uh, esp8266 chip you can see connected on the two and third third number so that i have i have i have used this software serial package next there is a standard library package now we have to create that object so that we can access that pin so software serial it is a package and we have to create that object so ESP8266 is an object and 2 number and 3 number is a RX pin and TX pin respectively so 2 number act as a RX pin and 3 number act as a TX pin now after that there is some variable we will see the importance of this variable later now next part is void, set, void setup so, so void setup is starting from this to this so basically void setup is a, it is a function which is executed only first time when the program is started and what is important of this function is that whatever the configuration part like baud rate configuration and serial con configuration all this configuration done inside this void setup uh, function so first we set the serial beginning 115200 and esp26 is beginning 115200 so basically these two lines define that whatever the serial baud rate we are using for esp and for the arduino so esp826 is beginning it is baud rate for the esp826 and serial dot beginning it is a baud rate for arduino now whenever you buy the chip from the market then ESP8266 have default bought it as 115200 so that we have defined here 115200 then, then there are some command of ESP8266 so first command is this one second command is 80 RST so how to send the command on ESP8266 through the Arduino board so you can see there is a one line esp8266.println and whatever the command you have to pass you have to pass just in the double colon so once you pass the command that that command will be transferred from the arduino to esp8266 through two and three number of pin okay atrst command is basically reset the your esp8266 configuration then there is some mode selected so, uh, because of that mode uh, the esp work as a wi-fi module then uh, after this command is executed, the main command is here ESP8266 print then this command so here you can see I have given my Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password now I am, I am changing my Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password with my another mobile so that I can show you in the live how I connected my the Wi-Fi with my mobile so my Wi-Fi name is here you can see uh, Papa is a re, uh, re, uh, send my Wi-Fi name I am changing right now so whatever your Wi-Fi name you have to change here so first na name is my Wi-Fi name that is a uh, what a, wo, uh, which Wi-Fi I have to connect so this is the one Wi-Fi name so you can see please focus attention I have only changed the Wi-Fi name I, I haven't uh, touched any part of this code so only change the Wi-Fi name so RJ is my Wi-Fi name and the password I have to change so touch only the password do not touch anything do not delete any single backslash also otherwise it code will be not work so again I will change the password here so my password is 98 so this is my current password so uh, uh, so first line is uh, in the void loop so basically the void loop is uh, used whatever the main logic of your code it starts with the void loop so serial.println connect with Wi-Fi so this is the message basically print on the serial terminal once the Arduino gets started to connect with your uh, Wi-Fi now while check connection is equal to zero so whenever uh, there is a connection between your ESP with your uh, uh, Wi-Fi it will take some time and after the connection happen then this check connection variable gets set to one uh, so once this variable gets set to one then we no need to send this command so that's why uh, here we are checking while till uh, check connection is equal to zero so if the check connection is equal to zero means that your esp826 is not yet connected with your wi-fi so this is the logic behind this while loop then uh, serial dot print there is a dot dot line printed till your connection happen there now the next line is esp826 println here we have checked uh, we have changed our wi-fi name and the uh, password of our wi-fi 
then next line is ASP8266 set timeout. So basically for 5 seconds it will try to connect with your hotspot. After 5 seconds if it not connected then it will give the trying to reconnect. So that's why it is a, uh, there is a delay for 5 seconds. Then ASP8266 fine. So basically if the Wi-Fi is connected that is your hotspot is connected with your Arduino you know. Then this will print Wi-Fi connected and how it will find the Wi-Fi is connected or not with this command line. So they, you can say if the ESP 26 is fine, your value is equal to 1, then Wi-Fi is connected. Otherwise, you can say time is incremented if time is greater than 3. So that means if the count is greater than 3 time, uh, that is timeout occur and then there is again one message trying to reconnect. So this is the logic behind this code. So main important line is that you have to password name and you have to uh, your uh, Wi-Fi name and your password of that Wi-Fi. So, okay, after that we have to download this score into our Arduino. So after that we have to download this score into this Arduino. So how to download, uh, I will tell you. So now you can see, uh, I have turned on my Wi-Fi. I connected device, you can see there is no any single device is connected with my Wi-Fi. So there is no single device is connected with my Wi-Fi. Now I will connect Arduino with my laptop and try to download this code with Arduino, you know. And then after that we will check the device name that is ESP8266 name should be connected here, connected device manager. So you also find your connected device manager, just go to the, your hotspot. Uh, you can see I am in the setting of my mobile. Then I go to the hotspot. You can see there is a hotspot and then there is a hotspot and then after that connected device. So here the list of devices whatever the, your device is, that will show you. So one first I connect my Arduino with my laptop. After that you have to do one thing just go to the tool and after that go to the board then go to the uh, uh, Arduino AVR board and select Arduino you know. Then after that COM5 uh, go to the port and select the COM pin of your Arduino. So right now my COM pin is uh, COM5. In your case the COM pin will be different so I will select this one. Now upload the code. So click on this upload button. So wait for some minute you can see there is a upload symbol is there. So once it uploaded then it will give the upload successful. Okay now done uploading means your code is uploaded on your Arduino. Now we have to open this serial terminal and after that you have to select the baud rate as Elion 5200. So select this Elion 5200. Here should be both NL and, and R. Then close this again open. So baud rate should be Elion 5200 both NL and R. So wait for some minute. It will start configuring your ASP8266 with your Wi-Fi. So here you can see connected to the Wi-Fi. The chip, uh, it is trying to connect with the Wi-Fi uh, hotspot. So you can see Wi-Fi connected. Also you can see uh, on mobile application, I will open my mobile again. So you can see on the device manager, you can see this is the, so you can see I will open my uh, device manager and you can see here the ASP8266 chip Wi-Fi is connected here. So connected device list is also incremented Y1. So that means I have successfully connected my ESP8266 chip through the Arduino uh, with my mobile hotspot. Now whatever the internet facility present on my mobile hotspot that will give one to my uh, give one to my Arduino you know also. So yeah, so with successfully we have connected our ESP model with the our mobile hotspot. Now next part is in this video we have to cover like I have said initially when you buy this uh, Initially, when you buy this ESP8266 model, its baud rate is 115200. So, if you want to change that baud rate, so how to change that baud rate? Uh, there is one another program. So, you can see this program you all also has, has to download from my Google Drive link. The program name is Change Baud Rate. So, double click on this program, that program will be open. Now, what is important of this Change Baud Rate program? So, basically, if you want to send that send some data on ThingsPig server and you if you want to access some internet facility then 9600 uh, is very uh, good baud rate and so that if you want to configure that baud rate for ESP8266 chip this program will be used. Before start the uh, before start this change baud rate try to connect uh, with your ESP8266 chip with your Arduino you know with connect Wi-Fi program with baud rate 115200. If it's connect successfully that means your ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip work, working perfectly. Now you can try to connect the you, now you can try to change the baud so this is one just disclaimer so you should follow my each and every step so that it, there will be no issue with your ASP8266 chip with your Arduino okay now we will see how to change the board rate 
so basically there is same software serial package then st library package then there is a variable declaration like 2 3 number we are using the hardware pin so that we have declared there uh, okay now next part white setup current baud rate is 115200 so here you can see 115200 is my current baud rate uh, that's why i declare here 115200 then some rst that is the command which reset the esp8266 there is some another command mode selected then here, here you can see this is the very important line to change the baud rate so instead of 115200 you can give 9600 as a baud rate so whatever baud rate you want to set that baud rate you have to type here 9600 now again i will download the code so go to the tools first check the port then go to the board then go go to the avr then select the arduino you know then after that click on this button so once you click on this button just try to upload the code so second code i am uploading that is change baud rate now after you upload the code just go to the serial terminal uh, select baud rate here is 115200 first because we have set the initial baud rate as 115200 so that go to here 115200 both n and l close this window again open this window and wait for some second uh, there will be done option will be here message will be the, here that means your baud rate will be configured so wait for some second okay done so done means this 9600 baud rate is configured with the uh, esp8266 so we have changed the default baud rate from 115200 to 9600 now close this program again open my first program the first program is connected with wi-fi now here you can see instead of 115200 serial beginning 115200 we i have opened connect with wi-fi program inside that wi-fi program serial dot beginning there is a 115200 instead of that i will give 9600 again 9600 okay so after that i will try to change my uh, password so that it will give me clear idea that my uh, wi-fi uh, baud rate is also my esp baud rate also changed and it is working perfectly so right now i am changing my password so password is 89 so also i am changing my password in the mobile application connected device there is a blank device in my mobile application now i will upload the new program so here you can see we have changed the baud rate as 9600 now once that program is uploaded just go to the serial terminal as seri as initial baud rate we have set 9600 just go to here select baud rate as a 9600 both n and l again close the window open the window baud rate should be 9600 and wait for some second if the wi-fi gets connected with your mobile application with mobile hotspot that means your baud rate set successfully with 9600 so wait for some second now in this way we successfully connected our esp8266 chip with your arduino model also we have connected with our mobile hotspot now if you want to improve your knowledge you can also watch this video how to send the temporary sensor on the thinkspeak server by using esp8266 chip so in this video i have shown how to give the internet facility to your Arduino model so that you can easily send the sens sensor data on the Thingspeak server. So in this way we successfully completed this video. If you have any doubt you can contact me, you can reach me th uh, what, through my WhatsApp number. There is a Telegram channel link also in the description. All the code available in the description uh, you can download from the Google Drive link. So thank you for watching this video.